So the more the, this morning we're sitting with Ephesians three and Paul writing to the church of Ephesus. Uh, he has there's this interesting phrase. He says of this gospel, it's good news. He says I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace to bring the Gentiles to the and then it continues on. It says to bring the to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ. And if you know the story of Paul, Paul was uh, a Pharisee who was persecuting the early church and has this divine moment where he um, encounters Christ on the road to persecute more of the church and he comes to faith in Jesus. And then all of a sudden he um, uh, is the, the Pharisee who was once persecuting the church. Now he is an advocate, an ambassador, an agent of the church and God's kingdom. And so he uses this phrase to describe that. He says, of this gospel, now I'm a servant. Uh, and in some, in, in that, that's helpful language here, right? You know, uh, what, what is a servant? What is a, a slave? I know other translations, um, uh, and, and many times throughout the gospel, or the, the, the New Testament, Paul refers to himself as the slave to the gospel, the slave to Christ. Um, and there's this sense of, of, um, of being bound to something, right? That's what, I mean, a slave is someone who is, uh, who is, uh, inextricably bound to a, a person or an institution or an idea. And, and so this, this idea here is, um, Paul saying, I am bound to this, this gospel, um, that I have received, uh, according to the gift of God's grace, this, this sort of initiation of, of God's grace um, with this good news, this, this gospel, and that Paul is now bound to that. And he's bound to that uh, for many reasons, but one is, as he says here, to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ. Uh, and this idea that um, the, the movement of Jesus that began within the Jewish people, the Jewish tradition, uh, after his death and resurrection, and um, uh, and and the way that he has appeared and, and charged his his people forward, and and the movements of God uh, are, are extending beyond the Jewish people to include all of humanity, uh, and and so Paul sees himself as this ambassador, uh, bound to the good news of Jesus to to declare and celebrate and communicate and embody the uh the boundless riches of of christ and explain to them that this good news that he is bound to uh is is for them as well that they are recipients of of that good news and so what we have is you know the paul in, is bound to a boundless gospel um but here's so, so paul is bound to this this boundless gospel um that what he's celebrating is this idea that the the boundaries that they had thought existed with Jesus and his movement and his his mission, his ministry, um, in in fact ended up not being uh, the proper boundaries. But instead, the, these are he's celebrating the boundless riches of Christ. The the boundless that that um, they they are always moving out to involve more. And he says, I'm a, I'm, I'm a servant to that. I'm a slave to that. And I think uh, we also are called to that. You know, in, in Scripture, you know, at one point Paul says, you know, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Uh, this idea that we are meant to, in similar fashion, bind ourselves to Christ and his gospel, which is propelled by his boundless love. And so this morning... Um, I think it's worth considering, uh, you know, what binds us. What are the things that that we find ourselves bound to? Um, uh, are are we bound ultimately to uh, the good news of Jesus? Is that the the sort of slavery <laughs> that we live into, or or are we slaves to something else or, or someone else? Um, and if we are really living into um, a, a slavery to the gospel, this, this sort of binding to the good news of Jesus, if that is the case, 
um, then we are propelled forward by the boundless riches of Christ. We are propelled forward in celebrating his gospel that has no bounds, that goes beyond whatever borders we want to build. It goes beyond whatever small boxes we have for the gospel. It, it, it is declaring the boundless riches of Christ that go out into all the places of the world and all of the universe. So, uh, uh, this morning, may we be reminded of our, um, our, our servanthood, our, our, our being bound to the, the gospel of, of Jesus, and may we recognize that that is a gospel that is without boundary, that goes beyond whatever sort of um, boundaries we might build up, that, that God's love is, is always moving forward, always breaking out of the little confines that we put it in. And just as Paul is bound to a boundless gospel, may we today uh, and in um, all the days to come find ourselves bound to this boundless gospel. Amen.